So, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming David to the stage. Good. Could you just take both hands and put them in the sky for a sec, please? Just, just do it. Won't, won't hurt. Just rest them gently on the person's shoulders near you and just give them a shake and say, you're in the right place. You are in the right place. You're in the right place. <laughs> oh, he doesn't go outside of his square. Fellas, what do we call that? We call that focus. I've got business down to, well, three pretty simple things. You know, first of all, we've got to find clients. And there's really only two ways we can do that. Um, one is to do the traditional stuff. You know, when you go out and you have to hunt for them, that's the networking, uh, it's, it's all the social media stuff. It's all this, we've got to go out and find it, find it, find it. But the other way, which the, the businesses that get it right, they create such a brand, such a story, that people come to them. So we need to find clients. But once we find clients, then we've got to win them. This is where I spend most of my time in the corporate world. So as I was saying, there was three of these buyers exit ramps. And these buyers exit ramps are their thoughts that people have in their head that can take them away and be distracted and disengaged from, from you when you're trying to sell them too quickly. And so the first of these is called the initial contact exit ramp. So here we are in my home office uh, and I wanted to take a moment just at the end of uh, the video to share with you this thought. I'm unashamed about the uh, fact that I prefer face to face. I think most people do. But this virtual opportunity that, that uh, is with us um, is, is something that uh, we can make a, a real difference still with. I've been running live to wear webinars and uh, master classes now for the best part of a, a decade. And, and so I'm very familiar with that as a technology. And, and whether it's in sales or customer service or whether it's in self leadership or whether it's in goal achievement, uh, the, the key thing is these blended learning programs can really make a difference. So give the team a, a, a call and what I would recommend that you do is not look at off the shelf stuff, look at something that's tailored specifically for you. I look forward to the opportunity. My best to you for now.